Planning out your content for Instagram can be a little challenging if you don't have a plan. That's why I use the app Planoly to plan out my content. I'm going to share with you in today's video how you can use Planoly to share out your content on Instagram and to kind of come up with a plan and a strategy to make that easier on yourself. My name is Amanda and I help creative women entrepreneurs to get their creative genius out into the world and I do it by making content like this. So if you are new here, hit the subscribe button and I am glad to have you stick around. Now let's dive in. Here I am in the Planoly dashboard. I have the free version of Planoly. I did have the paid version before and it's this one, $7 a month that I paid for and it allows you to have unlimited uploads to Instagram. Now I had that but then I wasn't really actually using it so I decided to go back to the free version so sometimes I'm sporadic about my posting and that's where Planoly really helps you to kind of develop a plan and make things a little bit more organized and so that you're not doing things on the fly. Now, when I do things that way, I find that it's easier for me to post. So I basically batch my photos and then I add them here. And these are all of the ones that are unscheduled. So I'll do some photos and then I'll have some like quotes and things or these are testimonials. I'll add in photos from traveling. I'll add in headshots and just make sure that I have all of these things kind of in here available for me so that all I have to do is just figure out what I'm going to post and when I'm going to post it. So here you can go and look at the scheduled. Now these are the ones that have already been sent out as indicated by the hearts in the comments. And then there are some that are not out there yet. They are just scheduled to be out there. So as you can see, I have some scheduled for the next couple of days. So for you to schedule one, basically you just go back to unscheduled and you figure out which one you want to post next. So let's say I want to post this one next. I would just click on it and then I'm going to delete their little default thing that comes up there. And I would typically write in a caption. I'm not going to do that right now because it just takes me a lot of time as far as thinking about what I want to say. And sometimes I just do that the day of. So I'll leave it blank, just schedule out which pictures that I'm going to use and then I think about what I want to say to my audience in that moment in time and then I will you know actually like send that out. So the next thing that I do when I'm actually scheduling is I click here and I schedule a date. So I need to do Sunday so just choose Sunday on there and then I would figure out the time. So I'm going to do it later in the day and then I just hit save or you could hit cancel if you don't want to use that photo anymore. The other thing you can do is you can hit here and you can swap it out for another photo on your computer. And the thing that I really love about Planoly is that you can download it. So if I ever needed to come back and download this for some reason, I could. So I have several photos scheduled out and you can view them here. So you can kind of see what they're looking like and then see like this one and this one, I feel like they're really kind of similar. So I can just X this one out if I want to, because I don't really want both of those next to one another. So I can start to kind of look at how things look together. Now, right now, this is what my feed would look like with some that are already scheduled and some that or some that are already sent out to Instagram and then some that are scheduled right here. So I can keep adding photos over the next couple of weeks and just go in later, maybe sit down for like an hour or two and then write out all my captions if I want. Or like I said, I can just do it in the moment in the day of. So I just have to remember to log into Planoly and figure out what I want to say that day. 
So there are some other things that you can do. Of course, you can add your stories here. So if you have a picture that you want to use that you've taken with your DSLR, or if you have something that you've made like in Canva, you can add them in here and that way you can schedule that out. If you have the free version, you can't upload videos, unfortunately. I love uploading videos to my Instagram, but I would have to probably go about adding it to Dropbox and then downloading it and manually uploading it to my Instagram just without going through Planoly instead of adding it here because I have the free version. Now, if you have the paid version for $7, you should be able to, I believe, add video. Yep, yeah, you should be able to add video here. So that's one of the drawbacks. So if I wanna go back to the grid, I just hit this button right here to take me back to the grid. And then up here, there are some things that you can look at. So analyze, you can like analyze your analytics for your Instagram, but it will only go back 30 days depending on, you know, if you are somebody who is paying or if you're doing the free version like me, it only goes back for 30 days. So, and then you can actually come in here and respond to comments through here. Those are some of the things that you can do. Now I'm going to show you how you can upload one that you've scheduled via your phone. All right, so I'm gonna to go to Planoly here, and basically you would just grab the next picture that you are ready to share. So you can go from unscheduled or you can go from scheduled. Since I schedule them out because I wanna make sure I know, you know what I'm posting next, I would just go to scheduled and the ones with the blue S's, those are the ones that are ready to go. So I would just click on the photo and then I would enter my caption, or if it's already entered from the computer, it would be there already. And then I can hit post now, and then I can hit post, and this gives you some instructions that you can follow. And then you just go right into Instagram. So you have to make sure you sync that up first, so you'll have to log in with your Planoly and all of that to make sure that you're set up there correctly, but then you can either post to a story or you can post to your feed. So this would be one for my feed, so I would just hit this, and then it brings you inside of Instagram. So I would just hit next, and then next, and then I would, you know, make sure that I can put in like any emojis or anything like that and I would hit share and then after I've done that I would go into my Trello on my phone and grab my hashtags to put into a comment so let me show you um, if I go to this is the one that I most recently added and if I scroll down you can see that here oops that here I have my hashtags here so I have them where you can kind of find my picture in these different hashtags so that people can find me. So that's the basic gist of how I go about uploading things to Instagram using Planoly. Having a plan for your content makes things go a lot more smoothly in the long run because you've taken the time to put in some initial thought, you've taken the time to gather things and to put them into an app like Planoly so that you can move things around, adjust things, think about how things look together and do an overall plan rather than just winging it. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Don't forget that I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so that you get notified when I put out a new video. I'll see you in the next one and don't forget to stay creative.